Good. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Don Wilson here. I'm going to give you a review of the Bixby Jet motor. So, very small motor, relatively big kayak, 12 and a half foot, 34 inches wide, has a fat, a fat rear, so it's not that fast. So, to get what you want to know out of the way, this motor with this boat without pedaling gives me a top speed of 3.5 miles an hour. It's sufficient. It's not that fast, but it's the same exact speed as my pedal speed. My pedal speed is three and a half miles an hour. So that's your speed, guys. Top speed at 10, that's what I'm getting. Now, this is what I like about the motor is total, with the battery and the motor, it weighs nine pounds. What does that mean? It's small, it's easy to set up. It fits in this backpack. That's awesome. Like when I'm loading on my gear, I literally put this thing on my back and I also put some of my other electronics in here, like my drone and stuff. I keep it all in there. It's so simple, guys. It's it's the simplest setup you can get, I think. Look, all I have, it comes with this rope. I have this cleat right here. I let go of the cleat, it goes down, and there we go. Um, the only issue is to get it locked in, it actually locked in on itself right there because of the gravity, but when it's in the water, it won't do that. You either have to pedal backwards and um, cut the motor on and drive it forward and eventually pops in or would you just reach back with your net or something and just pop it in so it's pretty great um, you didn't reverse it's cool because it it's just enough below the power threshold to where it doesn't kick it back out when you're in reverse which is pretty cool um, then right here on my PFD here's the remote wireless works great um, my only complaint only complaint about the motor, the speed's not a complaint. I don't expect it to run four and a half miles an hour on a nine pound motor with a kayak like this. So um, people that get upset about that, they shouldn't. Um, my only complaint though is this um, kill switch. It's real convenient, it's nice, it has a magnet, it sits right there and pops off real easy. Pops on, cuts on. Only problem is, there's not a good way to attach it. It's not that long. I mean, it's not that convenient to me. This sets up to your foot way up here. And if you're moving around and stuff a lot, it, that magnet comes undone very easily. It's a magnet and it's really not that strong of a magnet. So when you're moving around up front, and if you accidentally kick it loose in the back, it's a pain in the butt. You got to reach back here through your rods and try to get this thing back on. And sometimes it, it can be a pain in the butt and sometimes it doesn't want to come back on the right way so that's my only real complaint overall it's a great motor bixby is a great company they have great videos i was able to watch one of their videos and install it um they had a video on this um on the bixby power pole mount they walked me through it it was real easy the parts are easy it's real easy to set up you can see how lightweight and non-cumbersome this is so you know that's my review my review i really like the motor I think it's a game changer for a lot of people. And if you have a smaller kayak than this, it's gonna push you pretty good. Um, one last thing, battery life. Uh, I've only run it dead one time and I was out for all, all day pretty much and I ran up and down. I ran from the upper end of the lake to the bottom end of the lake. I think a total of like two and a half miles on top speed, which I probably shouldn't have done and I eventually died. Um, so it didn't really last that long with the at top speed but you don't have to run top speed because the difference between like speed 8 and 10 really isn't that much but I had it on 10 um, but yeah um, comment below if you have any questions I will answer them and until next time thank you for visiting my channel please like please subscribe take it easy